Hey everybody, so today we're here with my buddy Jordan and my buddy Seth. Um, I like to touch their shoulders. They're very strong men and it makes me feel safe. Anyways, uh, today we have something kind of special. We haven't done this on the channel yet. Um, we're doing a competition and the competition is a little bit complex, but I think we'll be able to summarize it pretty quickly here. What I've done is I've given both of them and myself all the same rifle. It's loaded in 350 Legend. It's a CVA Scout single shot rifle. Um, everybody got the same exact rifle, same exact barrel length, same color, same everything, three of a kind. Um, then everybody was given a $200 budget, which we've already spent. Um, everybody pretty much spent their entire budget as well. Which yeah, I think I maybe we, had like 12 cents to spare, uh, maybe a dollar. Yeah. So we really, like, this was a pretty tight competition. And basically you have to buy your scope, scope rings, your ammunition, everything you need to get this gun up and functioning for you to go hunting. Uh, by the way, the noises that you're hearing are four little cats that are in this garage right now. If anybody um, wants a cat, hit me up. No. 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 Anyways, uh, so the competition, the name of the game, is the first one to get their gun up and kill a big game animal. Now, our definition of a big game animal is a little bit loose since we're here in the southeast. We don't have, like, a ton of big ones. And also, like, you know, access is also Ow. kind of difficult. So what we're going to define as a big game animal is white-tailed deer, wild hogs, coyotes, elk, black bears, no bison, anything, anything that's a true... Hey everybody, so my video suddenly just decided to stop recording for no apparent reason. Um, didn't do that for the rest of the uh, filming day, so that was odd. But basically the summary is, we're all going to compete. We all have the same gun. First one to kill a big game animal wins. Everybody had to basically buy their scope and their ammunition under $200. And big game animals are coyotes, deer... Um, bison, elk, stuff like that, the, the obvious ones. Um, but we're going to count coyotes and hogs as well. Um, just to kind of even the playing field since we're all down here in the Southeast. And the prizes are going to be a, uh, Sig Sour, uh, I think it's a Romeo, uh, pistol optic, red dot. And also you get to keep your rifle. Uh, second place just gets to keep their rifle. And then the last guy, whoever's last to, um, kill a big game animal, Basically has to hunt with the single action shot rifle um, in a Santa Claus suit until they finally get one. So for however long that takes them. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit like gun game from Call of Duty where basically to advance to the next level, you're going to have to you gotta get a kill with this gun. Um, we're going to do some ballistic testing and target shooting now to basically make sure the guns and the ammunition and everything else are set up to uh, properly um, properly take All right. big game animals. All right, hey everybody, I'm gonna go first. Um, the guys are in the room, they're just not in camera frame. They're gonna watch what I do and then copy me. Um, so, I have the rifle out. Um, very quickly, we move this little knob uh, from one side of the trigger, or from one side of the hammer to the other, because I'm left-handed. Um, Wrong-handed. What? Wrong-handed. You're left-handed, too. Wrong-handed. Anyways, um, Come on, it's my peanut gallery over there. Um, we put some Loctite on the Picatinny rails, just so that they would hold tight. And, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, for $200, I got 60 rounds of... 350 Legend, 180 grain, PowerPoint from Winchester. You guys can see that very clearly. And in addition to that, I got some Maltstrom uh, scope rings. So, and then I got a Sonora rifle scope, brand new, still in the box, from Vortex. Um, the reason I got this under budget is because I have a gun broker addiction, and sometimes you get good deals. A crippling gun broker addiction. It's unhealthy. It's Don't unhealthy. tell my wife. She, she sits next to me while I do it. So, I'm going to get this unboxed. We're going to start putting this together and get it all up on the scope. 
So, we are all finished up getting the scope on the rifle. You guys can kind of see it. You'll get a little bit more up close look at it. Um, we got that vortex on there. The whole rifle is all geared up. Breaks open nice. You get that trigger, or get that hammer, rather. So, we're all set to go. Um, Strategy-wise, uh, my plan here was like I, did, I didn't buy a ton of ammunition. Um, I kind of walked right down the middle. Could have gotten a lot less and a much nicer scope, but I got a really good scope with the Vortex um, sort of warranty, which is really, really solid and reliable. Um, so if I have problems with this, it doesn't take me out of the game. But I also have 60 rounds of a pretty good ammunition. I've used a lot of power points before um, in 30 out 6 and in 308 that uh, have worked really well. Um, within like a couple hundred yards. I did kill an elk with uh, power points actually, 180 grain power points, but it was, it was a three shot elk hunt. So it was, it was a little bit rough. Um, that being said, I think for up close, you know, uh, work this is gonna be really, really great. I plan to zero the rifle in at about 50 yards. I'm gonna bore sight it first and then, uh, and then uh, get it zeroed all the way at 50. And that should work out pretty well to where from pretty much point blank all the way out to 100, 150 yards. I can pretty much just put the crosshairs on there and send it. Um, yeah, really excited to get this competition going. All right. So I went with a Sig Whiskey 3, 3 to 9 by 40. Nice looking glass. Everything's, everything appears to be pretty quality. I mean, if Sig's gonna put their name on it, it might be. Unless you're talking about 320. Good. What with Monstrum Pro Series scope rings, 7075 aluminum, and 100, 350 Legend. 170 grain soft points, American Whitetails. How many did you get? I got two boxes, two boxes of 20. I went with Hornady and Sig. All right, so here's what we got. We got the rifle all assembled. CBA Scout 350 Legend, six hour Whiskey 3, three by nine by 40, uh, Monstrum Pro rifle rings. And uh, looks like we got pretty decent clearance with the hammer to scope. Should be all right. Should be all right. All righty. So for my setup, I kind of went budget um, for the scope. I got a Monstrum Tactical. Not too bad. Monstrum Tactical with the scope rings. We'll look into that in a second. 
It's not exactly an LPGA, but it's kind of like an LPGA. Three by nine, three by 12. So oh, is that illuminated? Yes. Oof. Ooh. Changing the game. So it is illuminated, three by 12. We'll see how it performs. It's smooth at least, so that's good. Also have a bipod, because why not? And a little butt stop for uh, to go on my butt stop. A little ammo pouch thing. Oh. Nice. Um, for the ammo, I got a hundred rounds, of hollow points. Precision one, 350 legend, 147 grain. So we'll see how those do. Pop one out. Let you look at it real quick. I hope they don't shoot worth a darn. I, I do. I Good. don't want to lose it. Check this one out. Quality control, I'm not sure. But anyway. Oh my goodness. I have Check this dent out. I have 99 bullets. <laughs> I would shoot it. It looks like they really did put like a 9mm projectile on there. Like a 9mm. So, anyway, I have 99 bullets because that one is not being shot. Hang on, oh, hang on. I would shoot it. I would I'm shoot an not RV. shooting it. Somebody else Fire can. Fire bro. Somebody else can, but I will not. Um... Yeah, let's get into the scope right now. You shoot it. Y'all can keep that. Shoot it. Jordan, shoot it. <laughs> not, not right, right now. now. Not this second. <laughs> Don't if, threaten me with a good time. If you die, I want it on camera. So Seth hit a minor issue with the setup of his scope. So we're going to pick up the pace here a little bit and uh, kind of get to ridiculous speeds just to wrap this up because we basically had to do it twice. Um, again, not Seth's fault, just kind of new guns, new quirks. Um, we, we all got in there and kind of helped him with. So that's, that's why this is going to speed up a bit. Alrighty, so I got my scope, my bipod, and my little butt stop thing on. Uh, looks pretty good so far. I uh, chose the scope, um, like I said, so it's cheap, affordable, and I believe I'll do well with it. We shall see. Uh, bipod, stability, and it looks cool. Uh, same goes for this. Um, why did I pick precision ammunition? Well, it was borderline local. Uh, hollow points also got a good deal. 100 rounds. Uh, hopefully, I can side it in for with what I got. So that's about it. Hopefully, it'll be a good little coyote gun. Just shoot over the target. I don't know how these pores use these guns. <coughs> 1966. Good year. Good year. Cool. <coughs> So Seth's One got down. us. Seth's got down. us in the speed game. So far. <laughs> well, I mean, you're shooting a lighter bullet; it should go faster. He's about bore sided because I lined it up and without any adjustments. Was that on paper or on board? It was on cardboard. Nice. 
Hell yeah. Do we know how many inches and all that kind of stuff without walking down there? I don't have knocks. Let me see. Oh, you went middle? Yeah, I went middle. Alright. Sorry. Oh. You beefed I can be a spot. You are about five. four inches to five inches low, three inches to the right. <laughs> I bet my scope's gonna be all. Yeah. I'm excited for yours. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to see that. Uh, I'm gonna go through that trading rounds. It's alright, that's why you bought more. Mm, sadly. If they're usable, they are. They shoot. They leave the barrel. I hope. Well, yeah, adaptive. <laughs> they don't have to if they don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Second bullet. Keep, keep this so you can keep track of how many rounds you've shot. And then when we're all done, we'll reload. You gotta close her like you mean it. That was 20, 36. Wow, that's quite the spread there. Yeah, that's uh, quality control. Oh yeah, it's on target. It's uh, it's on the red. Yeah, it's right. It's high red. I'd leave it. I'm gonna hit one more time just to make sure, but yeah. Yeah. No, I mean like leave the scope. Yeah, I would shoot one more just to confirm. Oh man, that's nice. Well, I guess I could dial in. Is it second or first focal plane? No. Oh. Mine's second. I'd do one more shot if you wanted to. You could get a group. 20, 30. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Conserve ammo. Three bullets. One down. 39 to go. Thirteen oh six. Let me report every shot in. <coughs> I should have foresighted this before I started shooting. It's yeah. Like, it's like all these guns are shooting the same. Hey Payne, where's your rifle? What? Where's your rifle? It's in my truck. Oh, I was gonna use it as a spot. Oh, I can see the holes. Yeah. yeah. You gotta start bringing it up too, bud. I bet you're close now. I saw the wood chip. Yeah, it's walking over. Is that your second shot? That's my third. Okay. That's three rounds. Well, the target's count. Mm. He's got 37 bullets left for the rest of the challenge. He's just walking it in there. Like an American. This one, this one's going to be a bullseye. I don't think so. The way the wind's blowing, it really sucks. <laughs> 25 yard wind, Joss. Last plus. Getting there. Getting there. Almost on paper. I was still played, by the way. He has 36 rounds left. He's not even nervous. That's the circus. Circles if it's calm ahead of Drop bombs. 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. Anyway, just watch. Yeah, that should hit you on paper. That should put me in the bullseye. Or in the in the shoot and see target. That's, That's what I meant by paper. All right. The pal. Round five. He is calm and ready. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're on paper. A daggum target, though. Bottom, bottom of it. Come up. Somebody needs to go hold that target still. What? Right. Hold the target still. I'm choking. Joke. Joke. This wind is not a friend. The wind will actually may play a factor with me. Like, if it keeps up. You're you're a silly little goose, man. I'm a silly little goose. <laughs> That target is like swinging. Mm -hmm. Not ideal. You want to go out there and kill it? I don't blame it. Just here we go. There it is. That's oh. Funny. I was looking at the left target this whole entire time. <laughs> and I was like, where are you seeing these shots? But now I see it. I'm a silly little yeah, There's a whole, there's yeah. a big old group of them. <laughs> I know, I see it. Good job. Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. That's solid. Shoot one more and call it. On the acting from the side end. Might as well. Hold that one on the left. That's all right. See, I'll know. That's perfect. Yeah, that was it. That's hot stuff. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong target the entire time. That speed was a little wonky. So, Jordan has 32 rounds left. I have, what, 57 left? I fired three rounds, so 57 rounds left. Seth 99. has 99 rounds left after... Uh, we wasted his uh, dented bullet. So I haven't even shot mine yet. But haven't even shot his yet, and he's already up, starting behind. That's up next. Um, Jordan shot at 25 with his zero. I zeroed at 50, and Seth is going to zero at 100. We're going to do ballistic testing at 50, and uh, then we're done. So hopefully everybody, Jordan should finish probably with 31 to 30 rounds uh, left. 30. And I'll finish with probably somewhere like 55, and Seth will finish somewhere in like the 80s or 70s, and we're going to be great. Hopefully not. Hey everybody, so um, in this segment we did Seth's sighting in. Um, for some dumb reason we all decided to like start at 100 yards and try to zero him there. And uh, we ended up having to fire a lot more rounds for Seth. 
than we intended so I kind of sped everything up to about 10x speed um, if you want to sit through that you can if you want to fast forward I also understand uh, we just basically had to move inward eventually um, get his zero at 50 and then back up again um, but eventually he got his uh, rifle zeroed as well it just took a few more rounds uh, than the rest of us so um, feel free to fast forward to the end of this segment Whenever you're ready, bud. Oh, you were ready. You no, know, there's a hole in it. There's a hole in it. He tweeted. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You didn't go up the back. It's back, in there. No back shot. It's in there somewhere. Alright. Drink it, drink it, drink it. I'll put your hand down there and catch it. Well, let's see it. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if it's in there. It's in there. I see it. He sees it. Oh, I see it. It's in the ring. Dude. Check it around. There it goes. Hey. hey it's getting up. Now. Let me get it. Ooh. Ooh. Babe. So three milk jugs full of water and and a five gallon jug into hand, hand. a five gallon jug. We get 170 grand. 170 grains. I can't. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can even hit. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It's a perfect mushroom. Yeah, buddy. We are recording. I'm really interested to see what yours does. I bet it turns into a grenade. I bet it will shrapnel into anything it wants to. See if I hit it first, right? Ready? Send it. Many All right, pre-game predictions. I bet his bullet turned into a just a grenade. I bet it didn't get. I through. bet it passed through all three. <laughs> doubt it even went through. I oh, I see high. it. It's right there. Yep, turned into a grenade. Very nice. There's cop. There's lead. Oh, there's a copper piece fragment right there. All right, <laughs> just start grabbing the pieces. Yeah, you, I mean, Dude, we some good energy. That. What? Hey, a piece. we're saving money on jugs. Good mushroom. Man. I mean, it was a quite quite the good mushroom, but your penetration was lacking. Well, which you know, do it. Uh, two inches at two thousand feet. <laughs> there is. Recording. Send it whenever you're ready. Roger. Oh, that's cute. You hit it. 
Very nice. Very nice. Come on, let's go see what we did. Whoop. Is it just is it okay? Oh you blew the lid off, yeah no. It's there's kind of juice that's there. Yep. Not from mine. Oh there's a hole. Yeah, it drained that whole thing. And it razor bladed that thing. Yep. On its way through. Yeah, it deflected. So maximum punching power pain. You guys see it? No, it's not in there. No, it's not in there. So we can shoot it again. Out. Yeah, shoot it again. Just Liner shoot up. that. Nah. Put Doug's in front of it. Holy Moses. Same here. Oh, there's something in there. Yeah, there is. is oh, it? there's two bullets oh, in there. Oh, well, you kind of know. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's two yeah. bullets in there. Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you still recording? <coughs> That's funny as shit. The Language. The silliest goose. That's funny as heck. I almost said hell in there. That well, was not too bad. But anyway. It is funny that, Seth. Put it on the table. Oh, oh there, there they go. go. There go. Yeah. You got him. Oh. Let's see what we're working with. So we have two fully expanded um, because we made it an oopsie poopsie. And they literally expanded the exact same way. They look great. Um, Perfect mushrooms. I mean, that's awesome. That's that's exactly what you want to see. That's gonna kill us, probably a whole host of animals. Honestly. Wait, when it says green STY, is that standby or record? Is. I'm just fucking. With you. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Hey everybody, um, so I just wanted to recap with you guys on some of the finer points about this competition in this video, so that uh, in case you missed it or the video got a little bit confusing, um, you don't miss the overarching points. Um, basically what's going on is we're all competing to see who can kill a uh, big game animal first with our single shot rifles. Uh, these are really cool, they're high quality, well made. Basically, we went with the cheapest one-shot rifle uh, I could find for the three of us um, without going so cheap that like it might blow up in our face. Um, and also, we needed like uniformity. Like everybody needed the same barrel length. Everybody needed the same stock. You know, that way it's a fair competition um, from the get-go. So, and then everybody ran with a two hundred dollar budget to basically put scope, scope rings, any accessories on here. Uh, Official round counts after uh, sighting in the rifles and uh, doing a little bit of ballistic testing is that I'm sitting pretty, pretty well off with, uh, I believe, 56 rounds of um, 350 Legend left. Um, Seth is sitting somewhere with, I think, 82. Um, he fired quite a few more rounds than everybody else, just kind of getting his zeroed in. He tried to start at 100 um, which nothing wrong with that. That's where you usually zero rifles at, but we had a really windy day and the target was flapping all around. It, were, it really wasn't, it wasn't his fault. It was just the situation. Um, that's part of the competition. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be challenging. Um, Jordan, uh, choosing rather to, uh, kind of walk in his shots rather than, uh, bore sight at first. Um, burned through a little bit more ammunition than I think he was originally planning. He's stuck with uh, 31 rounds of uh, ammunition left. The, you might get a more accurate count from their uh, channels as, I don't know, I'm just running off of memory. But that's about ballpark where we're at. So everybody's got plenty of ammunition left to do some more practice and to do some hunting. And it's all going to be really great. Um, winners are gonna to get to keep their rifle. Um, two out of three of us are gonna be winners. Um, they get to keep their rifles for recharge. I won't ask for them back. Um, and they're also gonna get a pistol uh, optic red dot from a uh, six hour that's pretty cool, um, brand new in box. So there's a lot to compete for. And uh, yeah, we're expecting the competition to go slow here at the beginning as coyotes, um, 
and hogs are really our only option uh, for a quick and easy win. Um, things are going to pick up probably a lot more once deer season comes in. And, uh, you know, we're hoping that it's going to be an entertaining uh, competition and that you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you'll need to kind of get a recap on. Um, the guy who loses has to wear a Santa Claus outfit until he kills with his rifle. So it's it's kind of it's gonna be fun in that sense. I'm actually thinking that we might make this into a series if that's something you're interested in. Uh, we might just like keep running with it as an ongoing thing. Um, new guns, new uh, prizes, and basically just whoever's lagging behind uh, basically has to keep wearing a Santa Claus costume until they uh, kill and catch up, um, which I think will be a lot of fun and. It's a good natured competition. We made sure, as you can see from the ballistics and from the uh, target practice and from the calibers we pick, we're not trying to make this uh, unethical in the pursuit of the animals. We're just trying to make this a fun competition, kind of lighthearted competition, um, you know, and try and keep it entertaining for you guys. Um, we also filmed a video with this double barrel shotgun, which I absolutely love. Um, it's been a lot of fun to shoot over the past couple days with this thing, just got it in um, from a gun broker auction. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think this thing's gonna actually get to see some action, not in small game, which is what you would usually expect from these uh, stagecoach shotguns and nowadays, um, but I'm hoping to actually get to use it on some coyotes. So that'll be pretty exciting. Um, and that video should be coming later this week, tentatively, I don't know. Not really up to me, coyotes have to show up, but um, yeah, yeah. And we have some great photos and uh, I'll, I'll make sure to get the highest quality ones for you, but the bullets have been performing really admirably. We got, I have two of them um, from the free 350 Legend and that's a caliber none of us have used before to hunt. And uh, that's kind of why we picked it. It was just like nobody has an advantage as far as like knowing the caliber or knowing the rifle. And uh, these 350 Legends have been performing really, really well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it and, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Um, we really appreciate it and, uh, can't wait, can't wait for the next video.